What is going on, Nissan Nation? From all things Nissan here in Middle Tennessee to wherever you are watching us around the globe, this is your Nissan Nation, and I'm your host, David Boyd. So today we are going to be talking about the Nissan Concept Aria, or, hmm, is it a concept anymore? Nope. It's coming. July 15th, I believe the date is set for Nissan to debut this EV SUV, and we are excited here at the Nissan Nation Studios. We are super, super excited by it because finally somebody is is affordably going to take on Tesla. And yes, I know Audi and all these other companies are making EVs now, especially in the SUVs, but for the little guy, there's not been anybody really getting into it that could do it affordably. Now, Nissan has had the Leaf out for, gosh, almost 10 years now, and the thing, it's proven that they can build a, you know, a mass produce an EV vehicle that everybody can, can get a hold of. Now, is it up here with Tesla? No. But guess what? I'm not up there with Tesla either. I'm not going to pay $100,000 for an EV vehicle, and you shouldn't either. Especially when the Aria is going to be somewhat affordable. Now, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say it probably starts around 40000 and probably goes on up to about 59000 Now, that's just speculation on my part, and I don't have... Nissan has not released any kind of numbers on this thing just yet, but let's, let's look into this thing just a little bit and see what makes it so special. All right, I love how this thing turns on, and hopefully this concept goes into production just like that. I love how the lights turn on, and I'm sure it will because pretty much anymore if you see these little fancy trickeries you know every concept vehicle i've seen like from tesla on they all do this uh the new burger is awesome i like the overall look with it and i like how they've done their v motion but they're not like like in your face about it you know obviously they're black they black out the front there just to kind of make it look more car like but it really does it's solid it doesn't need airflow the leds on there are great i love look at the chrome outline here you see this in the z stuff that we've seen too so this must be something new that nissan's going to carry over the color of this thing hopefully this color goes into production and they need nissan desperately needs some colors like this obviously it's a four-door suv about the same size as the rogue super excited to buy that and uh, that, look at that roof, man. That roof is freaking amazing. That has to carry over, right? Now to the rear of this thing, and look, these LEDs across here, and I love it just says Nissan. It doesn't need the burger back here. This has to carry over. This has to carry over because that is awesome. And like I document on the Rogue, it's like it's fighting for space with the burger and the way that they do Rogue. Obviously, here you have the cool uh, way to charge it, and when you plug it in here, it's going to show you how much charge is on it. So that gives you a quick idea so you don't have to open the doors. The inside of this thing, now obviously this is a right-hand drive vehicle currently but the us will obviously get the left hand drive now the dash and stuff supposedly this is all swipeable you're able to take your your tack on either side and swipe it to where you want we'll see on that the clean dash here i like that um you know it's, it's like hidden push button it's just touch touch stuff here now i hope the the infotainment area gets an actual actual dial because people like knobs on their vehicles everything about this thing is super clean and we were told that when this was shown in chicago last year that it was it was like 90 to 95 percent production ready obviously tire or tires wheels and seats generally are where they kind of make changes but other than that let us know what you think this thing is freaking amazing and i'm excited now will the range get us there all right, so first off, that gauge cluster. That thing is amazing. I love how clean it is. And that's a cool thing with EV tech is you don't need buttons everywhere. You don't need all this stuff because it's, it's for one, it's like a tablet anymore. You just touch the screen and you just do what you want. Also, what is the battery range going to be of this thing? Now, now it's gonna, I would, I'm going to say it's going to need to be about 300 miles to make it really practical as an SUV. Now, probably that 300 miles is based on one occupant and they're like driving and that's it. Uh, we all know, especially with EV, you know, there's the thing with miles per gallon in a, a fuel vehicle that we, especially diesel tech, we know that uh, people have been busted on that. But EV tech is still, they rate them there and then it's that's the most ideal perfect situation. You know, the temperature is perfect for that battery, keeping it cool. And it's just the most, you know, ideal situations. But I really think 280 to 300 miles is the sweet spot for this. Um, I think that would get people, especially as a commuter car, that would get people back and forth to work depending, you know, I think it's the average commute now is like 40 miles. 
So you're talking that would get you almost to work and back in one charge. So for the whole week. And that that is awesome. Now, also we got ProPilot Assist coming. And this this Nissan's been working on this one for a while, but supposedly the Aria is going to get hands-free highway driving. Like now granted you're still supposed to touch the steering wheel so it it knows that you know, you're not just sleeping or, or I, I don't know if this thing's going to have the sensor where it keeps an eye, you know, looks at your eyes to kind of make sure you're somewhat, you know, paying attention to the road. But um, hands-free, Nissan talked about that for a long time. I know old CG, who, you know, I'm not a big fan of, he had talked about, I think it was by 2020, 2021, that they wanted to be fully autonomous driving vehicles. Now, you kind of didn't, this was, I think, 17, 18 when he started talking about that. I think they've missed the mark on that one, but also I think a lot of federal regulations go into uh, into making that so. And let Tesla go go earn that stripe for the rest of the manufacturers. But are you excited about the Aria? Because I am. I know it's been quiet. The you've not heard a lot about this right now, but we just had we just had the Rogue shown. Aria is really supposed to be like what the future design for a lot of SUVs is going to be, look like. And I, for one, love the thing. I love that also Aria is going to get the new Nissan logo. They've redesigned the burger a little bit. And I know I've seen the patents where they've, they're, uh, they've applied for all the patents on their new logo. So that's kind of exciting as well. So let me know what you think in the comments below. And I cannot wait to, uh, see this thing in person. So from all things Nissan here in Middle Tennessee to wherever you're watching us around the globe, in the comments let me know where you watch from because we're always excited about that. This has been your Nissan Nation and we've been talking EVs and the Aria. Peace everybody, love y'all.